KLM. This is the plane of the building, the plane of the building meaning the face of it from the pool deck area. This uh, column here would be L, right? L11-1. Right here, there is a planter box there. Not to be confused with the uh, another planter box, um, the BMA is over here rather. So planter box and planter box. So it would be this planter box um, here in my with my mouse. All right, there's your planter box. Read for it. And that planter box is, I believe this is the planter box right here. This is what's on top of that planter box. Okay. Let's go to this video. This video, this is the plane of the building. This is the end of the driveway um, ramp coming into the structure. This is, uh, so backwards, KL. This is M. And you can see the reinforcement on M is not buckled. It's, in, in fact, they removed the concrete from around it already. And it's still straight rebar, where you can see this is the demoed part of the building. It's turned over like that. So as you can look up here, K, my video is looking for, look for K, and you'll find the K standing there proud. So we have, uh, we don't have K as a, as a um, um, buckled item, uh, nor do we have um, K, L, L is also straight. Remember L we can't see in the video, but this is the one that the planter box is hanging on, I believe, right here. So there's a BMA going from here to here, connecting here, and this is part of his deformation. What's important about this, I want you to look at this rebar coming out of it, what appears to be coming out of the head of the of here, and it's shaped in that capacity, like that, straight and over like that, which indicates that it also had punching shear up, including that... Um, the one I just showed you, that this also, if it loads, also um, punched around it. All right, and then we get to K, and I said K's here. There's K right there, so this will help you, to help you out. See the little ears sticking up? That's the K, L, all right, K standing up. Right here, here, and here. I do, I do it better in another video. Um, so that's the plane of the, plane of the building. And this is that planter box. And remember, we got demo. I'm trying to work around, so demo pushed it. Um, now, this would be this, so that's part of that K. And there's the L, and there's the M. This is part of BMA structure right here. Um, the design of it. Hold on, it will drone up if I recall correctly. Um, and so there it is. So that one's not buckled. Um, this is in the deck part, the and this is so you're looking right here where the planter box uh, was. They scraping it, they're scraping it off pretty cleanly. I believe this is the image where we're going to see. Um, um, so as you look down the ramp, and the water was the fire where sprinkler was working. You'll find the plumbing on the ground here in a moment. So we're getting closer to that. Let's look at that. So there it is. It's bent over. Obviously, they pushed it over um, during their work. And there again, there is um, L, K, L. I got to think in reverse. K, K, this is L. And, uh, and the cluster of it looks pretty tight. So it didn't buckle or punch through the floor, if you will. Punch through the pier cap. The pier cap. Um, Pile caps. I sorry, pier caps above. That's pile cap. But I want you to note that we, here's the floor down here. Look how smooth this is here. This is the um, patio. This is where the plants were. It is flat there. This is this is. It's going to show the rebar being scraped off. You're going to see the top cover rather. It's been removed there. Um, that might be the uh, where it took a step. Up and when it uh, fell down, when it fell down, when it came to rest, uh, part of that rebar spalled in this consistency, spalled off the uh, concrete. So if you could put this together, this would probably be the deck, 
it's just probably that one foot um, elevation or seven inch elevation or maybe it's right for stand this up maybe it's right back here but as you can imagine as you break it back down flat um, that rebar might do that now we need to see some engagement there they didn't just um, make the L-shaped rebar they used uh, loops I believe hooks okay so this um, is interesting this wire uh, this reinforcement here presents as the uh, presents as a cluster a column cluster doesn't it could be reinforcement but we'll we'll keep that in consideration um, and again there is L there's the the uh, planter box area between um, L and M see how flat it is this is the part of debris from wherever from all the construction now the scraping right next to it as you can see it's pretty um, um, it, it's it's columnish isn't it so are we looking at this this is what I'm trying to do here so this is okay so this is still L and this is the BMA part of the floor deck that went down and this is your turned up um, hooks or not and this is literally would be um, the planter box one this literally would be the planter box one and this would be our 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 step our BMA step our seven inch or whatever it may be I, I'm just I do hear how I go at it and then I say okay here's this position explains it better this would need a, uh, a counter um, column opposing it and there it is right about there considering the lens distortion it might be right there the, this cluster and this even though they might look at a plane this does have a setback of just a few inches maybe eight but but um, I'm not having a problem with this being that this being um, L planter box and this being the BMA material cutting across the all right let me uh, hopefully you guys you know as you see or you see it already before I show it to you I said it a few times this is the BMA cutting across I just explained that I would spall off pause the video I've talked to it long enough I've circled it back and forth all right you see the reinforcement see the reinforcement this is the deck look at the profile of it here and here that's the profile this is the floor the, the garage floor and this is the profile of it of the deck so this is BMA material uh, but remember, we don't know how they did it. It's not post-tension as the drawings uh, call for on BMA. So let's see if I can get this image back up. So there's our, this part cave behind here, behind my writing, whatever this writing is. I'm not even reading it. Behind that area is what's caved in. Let's escape it. Let's go back to beams and columns. Get pulled on beams or pulling on them. Okay. Let's get away from that. Okay, right. The, 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 the metal, I have some metal detail like that. And it would be the... It would be this detail here. So this is the, the BMA. And you see that this is elevated okay so keep track of this so here's that let me get this right yeah this is where I believe we see the excavator I base it off this one and this one and it's coming off of um, M and L and so it's bent over presenting is bent over um, it could be this little section here with that turned up rebar right here because it's elevated and it's got concrete on the on the let's see if get this right on the side of it now these have hooks in them that would have been torn out look at the 90s rather the way they built this this deck is elevated higher than okay so we got 1110 down here um, let's see our measurements here 
This is the one foot six. Yeah, this is the change up. So this is eleven ten. That's up to twelve foot nine. But it does another. It does an eleven inch step here. See, it's eleven inch. So it says BMA here. So we this deck comes over to here. Steps up eleven inch. So eleven ten. Eleven ten, and eleven inches is twelve nine. I'm just saying it out loud without actually doing the math. Yes. So this would be eleven ten over here. 11 inch step up and this is right here is what I'm saying when it went down it spalled off the top of the, the reinforcement spalled it off or we should see it's two directional see see like that is but remember it's 11 inch step up but it's um, also the thickness of the deck so you're going to 11 inch step up to 12 9 but you also have the thickness of the deck of 9 inches so you're looking about 20 inches, and that would be here, this one. The side guy would have uh, a couple of different things going on. It would be 11 inches from here to here, and then this is its own, this is an 1110 elevation. Oh, there we go. There's 11 inches right there. So 1110s around here. And so we have this thicker profile material, uh, 11 and 9, um, 20 inches. Let's go back to the video. So this is roughly where that column is. So this is that deck. Maybe they scraped and they lifted, they lifted it up instead of it being fell, fall, falling down, if you will. I'm trying to speak English here. Not doing a very good job of it. And this so this piece here belongs here. And as this guy scraping, as you see, it got bent up. All right, but this would be the uh, top of deck of 1110 right here and then this is our elevated area here of 1110 of 129 so it, our decks in place over here it just draped and went down over here also presented like this I think it does a better flyover I haven't looked at this in months uh, this video but I wanted to get you a small one and a small video real fast um, looking to the right there's your planter box there's the columns we've already looked at as them playing with their work. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, see if it groans out. All right, so see how he's scraping it right off the f again. So here's the floor down here, and my guess is that he just elevated as it turns. I'm gonna pause. This should be the 1110, and this is the elevated deck. And this just happens to be the side profile of it. Oh, maybe I can zoom in a bit. Maybe I'm trying to find the the uh, deck attachment to it on this side. The reinforcement. I see a little wire. Okay, so looking at it this way, that this is in line with the structure. I believe this was down there, and it's displaced by the excavator. In other words, there was nothing under here that bent it up, right? It didn't fall, and something bent it up. It, it, these merge, and um, it flexed it and broke it free, and they happened to be cleaning and moved that one little merged section. No, I don't believe that. It's, it's too, uh, clean of a, too clean of a deck here and too clean of a, a, a this 90, if you will. It's not, and I don't believe it's a 90. I believe it was engaged. Okay, so looking at it from this angle again, this is um, K, that's the one I showed you. This is L, M. Out here is the planter box, and that's the deck. This is the top of the, the, the uh, plant area. And again, this is the deck area 1110, so here's your 12.9. And it's smooth and it's notice noticeably flat. Um, noticeably flat. I like to say noticeably instead of it, like choosing another word. Not remarkably. Hmm. Okay, so we have some internal debris at this point of the structure. And it looks like a piece of uh, a BMA type column, or something of that nature. It's going to be a pipe here also that's going to be of interest. I believe it might be this one. This would put it underside of the deck. Remember, the deck goes down, she films it. Well, this is all down, and so it couldn't be the pipe can't be from here to here it, it, it's down on the ground it's that's the open pipe one of the loops 
and I think there's loop time too. And so our our shooting water um, can't be here because it's on the ground already. Well, it could be a very above the roof here, but this it's not here because this was connected to the roof. And so our water is right about this pathway. I think they're going to do a little better than this. Here's the garage bottom of the ramp. I think they're going to go high if I remember right. Maybe I got a different video. But I believe this is the, the types for the, this is pipe times two for the loops. I'm trying to move around the image. Okay, let me pause and pull out. Okay, so there's that planter box on here. I believe maybe that's it there. Um, I think I'm done with this video. It was another one where I had to fly over to get you a better shot. Um, this is the one where I talk about them just practicing um, with the excavate with their equipment. Um, there's a the title of the video if you want to find it. It's I'm backing up the video real quickly. And I forgot what I did notice about this red. Well, maybe I just dropped hints saying, "Good look for the video with the red." But watch how they how this cleans off the the uh, surface. Skip, skip. That's decking. I'm just looking at it again. Trying to confirm that that's an, another triangulation of a... Uh, yeah, there's a column here. This might be the other column sticking up there. It's in line with there. It's a cluster like that, and he bumps it pretty good, the driver. Okay. So now let me make sure I'm not looking for ghost. Uh, the rebar all does have about the same entanglement, the, but this is more partial to deck and column. If I rotate over. Uh, yeah, because I found column here again. When I looked at this in another video. And I had the top shot of it. Again, I could see the reinforcement coming across. That's how I know so much of it and how clean this was scraped. It was another video. So again, I believe this is the deck. So we're looking at the drape. And this is just debris from the structure. Um, it, and that's the column head. Oh, a column. It punched around it and they obviously destroyed it. Um, they scraped. They ran out here with the excavator, scraped it off, and left this. And... Um, yeah, I'm going to end out with that. So you're looking at what I believe is uh, K, S, L, that's M. This is the deck section in front of the driveway area that's down on the ground, and it is flat. There is nothing underneath of it. It might have broken, like I said, in two places. It might have broken, fractured, and hung, hung up here until it did its next break, pulling it down, and the next break it gave us this uh, spalled, it's very consistent, you know, with with, with its removal of the, of uh, its exposure of of uh, rebar here. I wish I had a closer shot to see how much he scraped it with this. We would see steel scrape. Uh, I really look for it. Um, this is where I'm at. All right, posting this video for you guys. Love you. Bye.